God message for you today. Hello all greeting of the day. Today I am here to share a wonderful message from God. Are you tired of suffering and wonder why Jesus is not looking over you? I have an answer to your question so let's get into the message. God says, My beloved child, I have summoned you to embrace the power of love, even towards those who may challenge your affections, including those who harbor animosity towards you. While you may believe that hatred does not reside within you, it is imperative to recognize that it can manifest through our actions. When anger grips you, giving birth to judgment and vengeance, it assumes the form of hatred. Even the act of gossip, which tarnishes the reputation of others, falls under the banner of hatred. I in a particular instance, my disciples inquired if they should invoke destructive forces upon a group of Samaritans who had rejected them. I admonished them, reproving their vengeful spirit, and reminding them that my purpose on this earthly plane is to preserve life, not extinguish it. Thus, I implore you to tread the path I have paved, aligning your purpose, spirit, and conduct with mine. My purpose centers around the salvation of humanity, devoid of harm. My spirit emanates love, not hatred. My conduct embodies forgiveness and benevolence towards adversaries, rather than cursing them. Therefore, bestow blessings upon those who curse you, perform acts of kindness towards those who despise you, and offer prayers for those who spitefully exploit you. My child, have faith God is always with you. If you believe in me then watch this video till end. There exist individuals who perpetually perceive life through a negative lens, forever considering the glass half empty. Their pessimism can drain the energy of those in their vicinity, making it arduous to maintain a positive outlook. It is crucial to distinguish between happiness and joy. Joy originates from the divine, filling your heart and emanating through your countenance, words, and deeds. Can you experience joy even when confronted with adversities? Most certainly. However, it does not imply that you are devoid of sadness or oblivious to worldly tribulations. Rather, it signifies that within the depths of your being, you possess unwavering trust in God's omnipotence. You believe that He is cognizant of the circumstances and will either effectuate change or provide you with the strength to endure. He shall never forsake you. Your joy serves as a testament to the grace bestowed upon your life. Instead of surrendering to negativity, endeavor to cling to joy tenaciously, type Amen to claim it. Obstacles and trying times are inevitable aspects of the human journey. It is not God who dispatches these storms, but rather, it is within these tempestuous periods that we grow and fortify our spirits. These trials present opportunities for God's Word to manifest vividly in your life, guiding you towards triumph. You cannot evade every hardship and anticipate immediate rescue from God. Instead, God employs these challenges to stretch your limits and broaden your horizons. 
Remain faithful even amid adversity. Resolve to serve God unwaveringly, irrespective of the tribulations you encounter, and rest assured, He shall bestow His blessings upon you. Wage the noble battle of faith. Remember, God never permits any aspect of your life to go to waste. God is waiting to bless you in miraculous ways. You are evolving. You are maturing. You are being prepared for elevation. Maintain your faithfulness and persevere. In due time, according to God's ordained plan, He shall raise you to newfound heights of victory enabling you to embrace the abundant life he has promised that I in the eyes of the divine, impurity ranks among the most abhorrent sins, as it warps and corrupts one of God's most precious gifts, human love. Impurity debases this sacred offering, reducing it to the level of base instincts. Regrettably, Impurity often garners more attention and acceptance than purity. Purity is unjustly perceived as arrogance, while impurity is erroneously deemed clever, despite the grave consequences it carries. Satan conveniently sidesteps discussions about the remorse, futility, loneliness, and spiritual devastation that accompany immoral conduct. Have you ever wondered that has God turned away from you, leaving you feeling neglected and unimportant? Are there moments when it seems like He is preoccupied with others, attending to their pressing matters instead? It can be disheartening when you approach His table of grace only to find it empty. In these silent times, it's natural to question His presence. However, remember that God has not forsaken you. He cares deeply for you, even in these perplexing moments, when you feel empty of God's presence and His overflowing grace, take a moment to reflect on the past. Remind yourself of the abundant blessings He has bestowed upon you. Recall the times when He extended His saving hand and provided for your needs. Remember the moments when He revealed Himself to you. Meditate on these experiences as you patiently await His unmistakable return. Do like and comment, Amen, to affirm the blessings. Sometimes, all you have to cling to is God's promise to be with you always and meet all your needs. Differentiate between your needs and wants, and direct your heart's focus towards His promises. Trust that He will fulfill everything He has declared. Stay unwavering in His love. By His grace, God saved you. Most likely, someone shared with you the beautiful story of God's love. They told you how Jesus came to earth, sacrificed Himself for your sins, conquered death, and offered you a personal relationship with God through forgiveness and the promise of eternal life in heaven. You received this message from someone. Now, as a member of God's family, you have the privilege of sharing the same good news with others. The message of God's love is the greatest news you can share with anyone. If the discovery of God's love transformed your life, wouldn't you want others to experience it too? 
It is the expectation for God's family members to proclaim this good news. This responsibility carries immense weight because scripture tells us that one day Jesus will return to gather his followers and bring them to heaven. Those who haven't accepted him will miss their chance and face an eternity without him. If you genuinely believe this, you will eagerly share the good news with your loved ones, providing them with the opportunity to accept Jesus. Become a messenger of glad tidings. Amen.